Hello there everyone, this is Jam764, and, well, welcome back to my little mini preview of, I guess, what's going to be in the USA DLC. I mean, again, I really still have those two vehicles, uh, but I've been editing the game, and I added a whole bunch of mods that the community made outside of the DLC. You know, just for like their general uh, usage and stuff that I found interesting. So here's some of them. Well, first of all, I would like to note a, a few things. Uh, a, here's the Silver Streak. Now 10 cars long. Uh, apparently I messed something up because the um, configurations for the Zephyr are actually 3, 4, 6, and 12 car train sets. Uh, not 10 like I thought, so I'm gonna have to fix that later, but I mean these barely fit in my stations on this map So I'm just leaving them as 10 and you guys can just easily configure these Which I uh, think about it. These are actually underpowered because they should be 1800 uh, Not 1800 I think like 1400 kilowatts give or take for their engines Whatever 1800 horsepower is in kilowatts. I'll look at that later. But, uh, yeah. Another thing that's cool is, on the big boy, when it's at a station or stopped, this little light right here turns off. And then it turns back on when it's moving again, which I thought was cool. But, uh, here comes one of the modded vehicles now. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the big boy to leave real quick. Yeah, see? There goes the light again. But, uh, here's actually two of them. Uh, let's see, this is the... I forgot what it's called. So I'll just stick it to the window for now. Uh, this is actually two entirely different mods. Uh, still under the weather though, sorry. You know what? I'll do them in order. That's a much better thing to do. So first off, I'm gonna get this vehicle. Which... Chronologically, it's the first vehicle to get in this mod. This is from the uh, Iron Horse Pack. So we have the um, this little engine right here, this fictional R60, and it's fictional box cars to go along with it. Uh, see. Some of these dates aren't actually like working yet properly. Yeah, here we go. The Iron Horse, as it's called, fictional steam locomotive. Uh, top speed of 53, uh, sorry, uh, cost 400k, uh, build date from 1865, which should be, like, limited to maybe 1890, I believe. Top speed of 53, weighs 18 tons, 400 kilowatts of power, effective effort of 100, running cost of 200, and lifespan of 50, which I think 30 is a bit more accurate. Uh, next, we have the uh, Light Makaido. Uh, I guess Makaidos? Makados? One of the two. However you pronounce it. And both Great Northern and Nickel Plate Railway um, liveries. Uh, these are their own little separate mods, by the way. They come together, though. Uh, build it from 1918 to, I believe... 1935? I have to go back and look. Uh, top speed of 75, weighs 141 tons, 1,500 kilowatts per hour of power, attractive effort of 270, running cost of 70, uh, 750k, pretty high, lifespan of 50, which again, more like maybe 30 something. Uh, same goes for its other one. Uh, the other Iron Horse, which is just a color swap, really, or like a theme park-esque thing. Uh, built it from 52 onward. The, um, EMD PF7, uh, series locomotive. And it's Alaskan Library, which I have around here somewhere. I think here it is. Yeah, here's one. Except it's pulling a bunch of different cars than the cars that came with it. Uh, let's see. Build day from 53 onward. Top speed of 96. Weighs 120 tons. Has power of 
1,100, attractive effort of 190, running cost of 440, and lifespan of 50, which is more like 40, I believe. Um, and it's secondary unit, or B unit as it's usually known, which is effectively slightly weaker. But, um, oh, I forgot, cost 670. And I think that if these were 1.5 million, there we go. We're getting stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one's 670, this one's 530. And basically, it's just for extra power. Uh, adds 960 more. Effective effort of 170. Cost an additional 360 to what the original locomotive is. And should have the same lifespan. Uh, next, we have the largest, I believe it's still the largest, Union Pacific locomotive. Um, where is it? I'm a bit disoriented, guys. Uh, don't really have much time to record, and they're not feeling well, of course. Here we go. This thing. Um, I believe this was built to replace, basically, Big Boy. Uh, as, you know, diesel locomotive, of course. Uh, built in 1969 onward to, I believe, 75. Though it still runs today. Uh, top speed of 89, weighs 257 tons, uh, power of 4,920, so it's actually more powerful, and tractive effort of 596, which I believe is less than big boys. Uh, they are roughly the same, except this one accelerates faster, compared to when I had these both run together. Um, running cost of 1.8. 11 million and lifespan of 50 years, which I'm not going to complain with that one. Next, we have the SD60, which was the other one I was looking at at the beginning, I believe. Where are you? Ah, here you are. Yeah, back to this one. Uh, let's see. Cost one point. Ugh, I keep forgetting the cost. Uh, let's see. The last one was about 2.8 million. There we go. Those come together. Um, here we go. Uh, 1.2 million from 1984 onward. Uh, top speed of 70 miles an hour. Weighs 166 tons. Power of 2,800. Directive effort of 446. Running cost of 800. And lifespan of 40. Which again, seems about right. And same, just backwards and uh, weathered out versions. Uh, and some of the other iron horse um, cars that come with it, like the Caboose, which does nothing but looks good. Top speed of 52, and costs 200, and costs 50 to run. The Coach, which again, part of the Iron Horse Pack. 216 onward. Um, carries 20 people. Uh, weighs 8 tons. Running cost of 60. And lifespan's a bit drastic. Same for the uh, theme park version, just model swap basically. Uh, then we have the Alaskan passenger cars, which I don't have out on the rails at the moment. But um, 1953 onward. Carries 20 people. Top speed of 99. Weighs 35 tons each. Running cost of 62k a year. Lifespan of 50. Um, now this is part, and all the other Alaskan stuff is actually part of a slightly old mod pack that was released before things like loading speed and all, and I believe animated doors as well, because it doesn't have any, and it's an older build. I don't think the uh, creator has actually updated it, um, from what I've heard. Oh, by the way, all the links are in the description. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it should really be more like 2x loading speed and stuff, but I haven't felt like editing it, and... Yeah, I guess the um, creator could. But 263k each. Uh, then we have the Amfleet coaches, which I do have. Right here. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's not you. To explain you later. 
Where is it? Well, those are amphleet. That's just the wrong color game. Where is it? That's odd. Ah, here it is. Yeah, here they are. This little train right here. That mouse is a little off. But, um... Yeah. These two, the Ampli coaches, which... I believe the creator who's doing the Ampli for the DLC is the same one who made these. Not entirely sure. I have to go check on that. But these are pretty much what we'll be getting in the DLC, just not this exact version. Darn, I didn't mean to close that one out. But, um... Oops, the road depot. Here we go. Yeah, I'm all over the place. Uh, 275 kh from 1975 onward. 20 people, top speed of 130, weighs 480, and, no, 48 tons, sorry. Uh, running cost of 70, lifespan of 40, and loading speed, which again, this was made, I believe, a few updates, an update or two before loading speed. So, you know what? No, I take that back. Um, no, I was right. Should be two, because this has two doors on it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Should be double. Again, I believe you could just edit the loading speed to so correct that, or try it. Uh, pretty much the same for the second generation, just... I believe those are one door. Oh, where are they? Yeah, these are only one door. Which I find a bit odd, but... Oh well. Uh, pretty much the same thing, just cost slightly more. And built from 81 onward, carry about two people more. Actually, the running costs are higher? Yeah, running costs are higher too. But that's about it. Next we have the Iron Horse, Coal and Iron Ore Hoppers, which carry 9, cost 150 each, top speed of 62, weigh about 8 tons, with the cost of 40, lifespan of 50, which, again, too high. Um, not too bad, if you ask me. A bit overpowered, and again, their models aren't realistic. Uh, then we have the Alaskan um, Iron Ore Hoppers, which are up somewhere over here. And by the way, if y'all hadn't already guessed, um, every single vehicle on this map is one of the modded American ones I found online. They are not... There are no stock vehicles on this map at all. Uh, let's see. I mean, minus the city cars. Yeah, here we go on Big Boy. Yeah. They even come with their own little loading and unloading animation and fill things. Uh, despite how old the mod is. So we have those. Then we have those box cars, which I showed earlier. Just show them again real quick. Uh, where's that train? My north, south, east, and west is all over the place at the moment. There we go. Yeah, these right here. Scrolling. Yeah. They carry nine goods each. Weigh eight tons. Cost 40 year to run, and are 150k each to buy. Then we have these Alaskan ones, which, again, I don't have any running at the moment. Maybe I'll replace these. Just real quick. But, uh, those are 133k each. Build from 93 onward. Uh, I believe those should actually be based out in like maybe the 70s. Because there's another one that replaces them. Um, top speed of 75, weigh about 20 tons, running cost of 29k, and a lifespan of 40 years, which probably more like 30. Then we have the Iron Horse Tanker, which carry 9 oil. Weigh 8 tons, running cost up to 40. And I think y'all have probably seen the pattern between these by now. And the same for logs, also 9. And let's see, let me just. Uh, 
that line to... Oh dear, I forgot what line this is. I believe it's line 8. Yeah, line 8. Alright. Then watch it pull out the depot real quick. There you go. They're a little small. But again, it did say mini boxcars. There they go. Uh, what else? What else? We have the goods container cars, which this year is horribly wrong. Uh, I think these two got confused. Because it should be like 1977. But it was available from the beginning of the game, so I need to change that. But they carry 75 goods, have a top speed of 124, weigh 140 tons each. And by the way, they come in sets of five. So there's five cars to every set you buy. Um, costs 22. 0.5k to run. Lifespan of 40 years and a load speed of five times more than normal. And uh, costs about 819k to buy. And that's it for all the mods that I can currently show that are buildable. And there's a few which I have stored around here somewhere. I think over here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, these two are just the. Um, Zephyr's the um, Silver Streak, which I found out sometime earlier today is actually 12 car I'm uh, not 12, 6 cars long instead of 4, the real one. But I mean, who's gonna judge? Not me. And then my 10 car version, which I guess needs editing. And a few other locomotives that sadly aren't in the build list anymore. I might have to revert to an older set. But, uh, let me just show off the, um, Oh, where is it? Let me just build a piece of track real quick. Just a simple little S loop. There we go. Now we have a little loop. Um, I guess I could put a simple one too, right here somewhere. Here's all the vehicles from the Iron Horse pack together. I think they look pretty cool. The log car, oil tanker, coal hopper, box car, passenger car, and caboose. 
Those should run in a random circle. Now for these. Um, I'll let the Makaidos go out first. As soon as this Zephyr comes by. Well, close enough. Get y'all to my... What was it, 25? Yeah. These used to haul those ore trains over there with Big Boy and the other diesel is. But I decided to change that. They looked cool together, though. I mean, just look at that. Just cool. And then... These two need to be split, as they're two different vehicles. Uh... Also, if y'all haven't guessed, I, um... Had a lot of time in my hands, so I ended up modding the game a lot. Uh, more than just the vehicles, I added a few things like, um... What's it called? I actually managed to change the music in. Uh, if y'all hadn't noticed, the Zephyrs are Silver Streaks. Uh, I changed the texture on them. Because apparently the reflection map, which is all along the side, so it's stained with steel uh, bodies, uh, it was using the, um, using the uh, blurrier one that's available. But I just changed it to the clear one and that fixed most of it, except for the observation car, because for some reason, the windows in that are especially shiny. I mean, let's see if I can show that to y'all real quick. Uh, this applies for all versions of it, the 4 car, 10 car, it doesn't matter. Uh, the observation car seems to be the only one affected by this. But you see the top half of the train is all fine, right? But once you get to the back, you'll notice that you can see the windows on these, but this last car some weird reason. The windows are part of the body. So unless you're like right here, which I mean it looks fine now, as soon as you change that angle, they just more or less blend in. Which I don't know why. But that happens. I don't think the back window does though. Let's see real quick. I can find one. Face them out pretty far. Pretty great, where are they? Uh, ah, here's one. I don't know if it's at the right angle though. Yeah, like the very back window doesn't seem to do it. But again, this is the pre DLC to look at it, so. Yeah. Now it complains about there not being a room. Oh well. Uh, where was the- oh! Well, I lied, there is one more. That I haven't even looked at at all. Uh, well first, let's look at this. This is the... Pennsylvania Railroad, uh, T1, I believe. Uh, originally cost... Uh, how much was it? Two million, yeah. And with a running cost of 900k. Has a lot of power though, 4,200. Basically, uh, almost the same as Big Boy. Top speed of 103 and weighs 228 tons. Can't remember the, um, reactive effort though. I wish it said that in here, but it doesn't. Uh, I don't think it was this high, maybe like three, four hundred maybe. Uh, unfortunately in real life most of these got scrapped because they were just horribly unreliable and expensive to maintain. Uh, they did a pretty good job for freight, though, when they did use them. But yeah. Let's try the T1s. And of course Big Boy, which we covered last time. Just out for show. I guess we have time to look at that new one, then. I swear I had one more, but I guess I forgot to install it. Maybe in the third video. Or even in the, um... I'll see if it comes out before I make the third. Because I didn't really expect to make a second video so soon. But, um, the SD70. Uh, this is my order, right? Yeah. Uh, also from the Alaskan pack, which, now 
I think about it. I believe these good wagons right here are too. Uh, yeah, I think these. Or I could be wrong. Uh, again, all the links are in the description, which will correct me or not. Uh, 1993 onward. Top speed of 110. Weighs 152 tons. Arm 2,940. Effective effort of 2,940. Running cost of 620. And lifespan of 50 years. Which seems about right. I'll just buy one. And run it. Eh, texture could use a little work, but again, this was made a long time ago and hasn't been updated in a long time either. Oh dear. I'm going to need to fix that. Ah, come on, game. That's mean. Fine, do your worst. I really wish they could do something about that. Nope. Alright, fine. <coughs> I'll just block the main line then. There we go. But yeah, I think that's all for today's video. Nope! I, I lied. I'm missing one now to think about it. Yeah, the one that I accidentally showed off earlier. Where is it? Oh, not there. Here we go. These things. Yeah, I probably should have split them up, but um, these are the Pennsylvania. Oh dear, I forgot the name. Again, in the link. But uh, these are basically very early electric rail cars for suburban use. Um, See, if you just divide that power rating by half, you'll get one of these little locomotives. Since there are two of them on here, uh, weight by a third. Since this car weighs about the same, but uh, all in all, a very, very highly detailed set of um, rail cars and passenger cars, as that middle one is, um, to use that come out in 1908 and stay out till about 1950, which. These things actually ran up into the 80s. So, very long lifespan, very long building dates, and just all in all, a very, very good mod to have. Since I don't believe these were in the vehicle list that we saw, and I have a feeling they aren't going to be in the official DLC either. But, they are cool. And again, this whole video was really about mods to add line to the DLC if they're not in there already. So, this has been JM764, and I guess I'll see you guys for the next video or when the DLC comes out. Bye everyone! Microphone issues. Um, <laughs> whoops. Totally forgot that I had like five or six other vehicles to add to this list. Uh, I'm gonna have to edit. But, um, anyway, here we go. Uh, wow. I'm forgetful. But, uh, here we go. Forgot about these, first of all. These are what well, can only be described as being. Probably the earliest electric vehicles ever made among them. Uh, these are the 1900 wood electric trucks, which, yes, that's that's what they're called. Um, that <laughs> in 1900 they work well. In 1994, not so much. But anyway, um, they cost about 400 and no, I'm sorry. Uh, they only cost 45k each, very cheap. Uh, running cost of 10k, even cheaper. Top speed of 12, which is very, very slow. I believe even the first truck you usually get faster than that, I think like 15 or 16. Weighs 3.5 tons, has only 2 kilowatts of power. 
and holds 12 of everything, which is, I believe, more than the first truck as well. So, not a bad choice, but again, they are slow. Uh, let's see what else was there. Um... Ah, here we go. The trams, which I completely ignored somehow. Uh, where are they? Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these. Again, I really should look up what these are called, but they're in the description. Yeah, I don't think these are being built anymore. I'm sure they're not. Uh, where's the depot? Ah, here it is. Uh, bye. Nope. Okay, neither of the trams I wanted to show off are. Uh, so we have this one, which comes out in some time around, I think, 1940 or so. Oh, and that bus, which I'll explain in a moment. Uh, they cost 120k each, uh, run 35k, and top speed of 25, which isn't bad for a tram. Weigh 18 tons, and have 113 kilowatts of power, and load twice as fast. So, cute little tram to have on your old lines. Uh, and they still run today, I believe. So, very long lifetime usage. Uh, where to go? The bus. Actually, I have a small line over here somewhere. Here we go. These things. These, sadly again, I forgot the name. Um, they're a type of General Motors bus. Just can't think of it. Um, these were very popular in the 50s and 60s, I believe. One of the most common American buses you could find. Uh, anyway, they cost 190k each. Um, run 38k each a year. Uh, have a top speed of 40 miles an hour. Weigh 20 tons and 175 kilowatts of power, and load twice as fast because they have two doors on them. But they are very useful buses. Um, no, a couple of them still run like tours and stuff, I believe. Uh, no in-city use, but they were used for about 40 years before most were retired. Give or take. And then we have, I believe, a few more around here somewhere. Are they these? I'm not really keeping track. No, those are the same as other. I remember where I put them. I think it's... Yeah, these. I remember. Uh, these come out, I believe, sometime in the... 60s. I think. Um, I think it's bearing its Russian marks. We could find a few of these in North America as well. Um, they cost 120k each. Ryan 35. Top speed of 25. Weigh 18 tons. 124 kilowatts of power and load twice as fast and I believe that is the rest of all the vehicles that I downloaded that y'all should probably add to the OC assuming that they're not in there or any equivalents thereof uh, yeah that's about it nope I lied one more <laughs> I am observant the Peterbilt which the older versions of these are in there. But, um, yeah, I forgot about these. These are the ones from, like, 1980-something. Uh, the one Optimus Prime, for those who know about Transformers, is designed off of. Sadly, the wheels don't spin, and they're actually quite short. Uh, they should be scaled, I think, at least half bigger. Um, not half bigger, like, one and a half times bigger than what it is now, which would make it fit properly. Uh, anyway, they cost 250 each. Uh, run, or 54k each. Uh, top speed of 62 miles an hour, weigh 10 tons, have 346 kilowatts of power, and obviously one time loading speed. And, again, if they were scaled up, it'd be a bit bigger. This would be another great mod uh, to have. Oh, the texture could use a little work. Same goes for the uh, Double D40X, a giant diesel locomotive. And yeah, that's about it. 
Um, so again, this has been Jam Seven Sixty Four, and I will see you guys whenever I see you guys again. All right. Bye, everyone.